Hey guys, so just got to the boat today. It's uh, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, Julie's working until like four o'clock, and then we're gonna go to her house and watch the Super Bowl. But I came down to the boat to just kind of do a little bit of stuff, a little, just some small stuff, hanging up some stuff, kind of like decorating just a little bit. Um, and I did a lot of work yesterday with my parents. I just like cleaned the boat up a lot, but I didn't really get a chance to film anything. I was kind of in a rush. So I will show you guys kind of what we did. It's, you can see, well, actually I just made the front a lot messier, but this was completely clean before <laughs> till I brought a bunch of stuff in. But basically the whole boat looks more like a boat. You can actually sit down now. Um, all the couches are clean. I got rid of the microwave. I don't know if you noticed there was a microwave here. Since we have this oven, like our, our toaster oven here, um, a microwave just kind of felt redundant and it takes up a lot of good counter space. So got rid of that and uh, yeah, we're getting going on it. As you guys probably know, I think we're doing the cloth. Yeah, from the other video, we're doing the cloth headliner in like the V-Birth. And I think we're gonna do it also above our bed in the back. So in the back, we're also gonna do the cloth. Um, I think that's gonna get done next weekend and then we'll totally be done with that stuff. And then paint should also be kind of finished around that time. And then we're gonna start just like installing the uh, the rest of the thing. So actually I could show you guys what, what we're gonna install in the next coming videos after like paint and headliners all done that we can kind of like install the new stuff that's gonna be for our trip. Let me lay it all out for you. There's a bunch of little stuff we're planning on installing like cup holders and um, like a rack for our dock lines and just small stuff like that. But some of the other bigger things that we are gonna do, a lot of it is safety orientated. So like we never lived on this boat, right? And we're going to the Bahamas. We're gonna be on the boat for three months. Like our six best friends are on the boat. So we are getting a bunch of these different sensors. This one goes in the bilge and it's like a high water alarm system. And then it goes to this and it tells you if you're taking on water. These ones, they go around the engine exhaust and then they'll tell you if the exhaust is too hot. And that kind of gives you an idea of two things. The raw water cooling system could be clogged or there could be an issue. Well, it really would just be the raw water system would be clogged or it could be an issue with the engine that's just overheating. And so when the exhaust tubes get too hot, those will alarm. And then this one is a fire alarm for the engine room. So that will stay in the engine room and God forbid there is a fire, it will um, alarm us also got this really cool bell because it was on sale and i think i'm going to put this attach this one to the uh high water alarm it's super super loud this is a depth finder so because right now we don't have a reliable depth finder we do have this sandpiper 3 which is a really <laughs> it's really old but it works well so it's not a big deal. Like I like it having it down here and it has an alarm and stuff and it's kind of foolproof, but I wanted a newer, more reliable one up on the flybridge. So installing that. And then these I'm pretty excited about. They're saltwater faucets, but they're like hand pump faucets. So you don't need to pump for them. So those I'm gonna mount one right here next to the sink or on either side, one of there, so that we could wash our dishes with salt water and save fresh water. And then I'm gonna put one in the back bathroom. And then I got a fan for the V-Birth because it kind of gets hot in there. There's a lack of circulation. So we got a lot of fun stuff to install. It's just more like hoses and stuff for it. And yeah, that's kind of like the projects that are going to be coming up after we finish the paint and the headliner. So I think I've decided today that since it's uh, pretty cold out, I'm not going to do anything outside and it's snowing, obviously, um, that I'm going to do some electrical work. I'm going to install maybe all or, or some of these um, like alarm systems. And then also I'm going to, whoop, Jack got caught. Also I'm going to install our new battery switch because our old battery switch is broken. Um, not only is it missing the little switch part, um, it also won't turn off. So in the off position, it stays on 
and so internally something broke in there. Um, they're pretty simple, but they, they do break. And this one's really old, it's original. The only, sorry, the only issue is that the back of this one is a totally different layout than the back of that one. And it's not as simple as like moving a flexible wire over. They're all like rigid, so it's a rigid piece of copper. And then the wires are very, very, very stiff. So I got some wire, some big battery cable, and I'm gonna like I'm gonna have to extend one of them and kind of change some stuff around. But it shouldn't be that hard because these should be good. So we'll figure it out. So we'll get going on that. Okay, I'm in the I stand in the engine room because all the electrical stuff is in here, and uh, being in the engine room makes it a lot easier to get to all this stuff. So now I'm like at eye level with it all. So. First thing we do is, let's see, this will come off with one hand. Take the wheel off, which weighs a ton. This one comes down, this one comes off. And then we have the annoying beep in our face. So I'm gonna turn that off and then we're gonna get going. This bar is what connects to the back of the battery switch. And now this layout, which is pretty unique, is different than the layout we're gonna use, obviously for our new battery switch. And these two wires are not in the right place. So we're gonna have to do some rearranging here. We're gonna have to take everything off, make sure it's all labeled so we know, rearrange it. This is the output, these are the inputs. And that's kind of, how this one's gonna go. First things first is we're gonna take off all these studs, take off all these cables. I'm gonna take these this strap out so that they're, you know, movable. Um, and then we're gonna undo the battery switch from both sides, take that out and <laughs> see if this one even fits. Now, whenever you guys, if you own a boat and you work on the electronics or whatever, I would always recommend turning them off. So this boat has, these are the two batteries, by the way, we have our house bank, which is an 8D here, and then a group 32, I believe, right there. And then this one's our starting battery, so that's an 8D, and that starts the two engines. And then back there, we have another 4D, which starts a generator. Um, this is our solar setup. It's all fused and stuff. But basically, this boat has these two main switches. So both batteries go into these switches, and then this one, which has that battery, goes to the engines. This one goes up to that house bank up there. So what I like to do is just shut them both off from here. That way no power is flowing up to here now. So none of this stuff is um, live. And now, you know, we can't short anything out. So now we can mess with this all you want. No issue. Obviously, probably not the most correct tool for the job, but it'll do. All I gotta do is loosen these things up, these nuts. <laughs>
put it in, and then we'll worry about the rest of it later. Let's go. Okay. And by the looks of it on this side, all the holes line up. So I just need a little bit longer bolts. And then this one's not going to reach. Oh no, this one's the output that goes on top of this. Those ones will reach the output here. The input on the starboard battery, not going to reach. Port battery should be fine. And then this plate is not sure what to do about it. I'm either going to have to like bend it around or move it down and drill a new hole for it. Okay, so what I've decided to do is instead of using these really, really long ones that kind of stick out, I do have number 12s that are pretty much the perfect size. I just re-drilled this hole and then it sticks out, you'd see it, like a quarter of an inch. But what I'm going to do is countersink this hole. It'll go in a little bit further and then I'm going to put a lock nut on the other side and it should honestly be a perfect fit. So I'm going to do that, re-drill the holes, countersink them, and then use these. Okay, so I got some candidates here. I think this one fits. Let's see if this one fits because it's much bigger. Ooh, I think it does. That fits. That's a huge nut. So that's gonna be fine. Put that on first, put the rest of this stuff on, then put on the last one. And that should be See that now, then we'll put the rest in. And if it doesn't fit, then I will change it. But I have a feeling that will be okay. So we're gonna leave it like that and just try. This, I need to get nice and flat because I, when I was, you know, when I was um, dremeling it and stuff, I was kind of bending it around the pliers. That's better already. Wow, this stuff is so soft. Got electrical tape, so let's wrap this thing up. That way, it doesn't short out or anything. out here playing with nuts screwing the nuts taking the nuts off twisting the nuts
Okay, so let's switch these back on. Get one, two, and now nothing's smoking, sparking, or anything. So that's good. We have here is the voltage alarm because if we go up, that's our house voltage, which is a little bit low. It should be 12.7 for fully charged. And um, this switch determines whether or not we're looking at our start battery or our generator battery. But on the back of the switch here, which is an old switch, um, the third line broke off, which is this line. And so I just gotta get that replaced. I gotta get a new three-way switch. And then I can put that back together, but it's not a really big issue. So that's why that beeped. Um, bilge pump, we could check by pushing manual. That's good. So that works. So now everything should work. But what shouldn't work is stuff on the panel. So like, for instance, the autopilot shouldn't work right now. Let me see. Fresh water pump. Doesn't work horn. We could try that. That's good. So it doesn't work. And that's what we want because the last one in the off position, everything still worked and that was bad. So now number one is our house bank. So over here, number one, horn. We do a tiny toot. Yep. And we could do autopilot. You hear the beep? So that's good. Everything works now. Keep it on the off position because we're going to leave the boat now. And, uh, and yeah, that's our panel. I, I, I like this switch. I didn't. Okay, guys. Uh, I finished the battery switch and I came out of the engine room to find that. I don't know if you could see that. It's probably like four inches of snow. It's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is clean this stuff up quickly. And then Julia is closing uh, the restaurant at work, obviously, because it's just, it's just the snow and it's the Super Bowl. And so I'm going to clean this stuff up because it's an absolute mess. So I'm going to close this hatch right now and then shovel the boat quickly, just like this floor. And then... Uh, and then go pick Julia up from work. So, let's see if I can figure this out one handed. Perfect. And then, I'm gonna close it and move this shit around. Okay. Much better. Now, let's check out the new battery switch good perfect okay a lot more stuff to do still got all this stuff to install but at least now we have a working battery switch because before it was kind of annoying me um i'm gonna clean all this stuff up and then shovel okay um Okay, so I just cleaned up all the like electrical stuff. I cleaned up my extension cord. Um, so I was kind of put away. Um, I realized though that I don't know to see outside, but I'll show you. Those are the solar panels. So got about eight inches of snow. So I'm gonna go shovel them really quickly, just kind of shovel a bunch of stuff. And then I gotta go pick Julia up. And I'm starving, and we're gonna have wings, and we're gonna watch the Super Bowl. Ooh. Okay guys, so we're all done. Uh, I just finished shoveling the boat. So it's now a lot less snowy than it was. It's still snowing, obviously. About maybe eight or 10 inches already came down. Uh, yeah, so we're all done. So just shoveled, just finished. Julie just called me. She's done closing up work. So I'm going to go pick her up. And then we're going to go have some dinner. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.